context. There's some bad blood that's been brewing with these guys off camera. Check this out. Another thing I really wanted to ask you is, and I made a point of introducing you as the world champion because you are the reigning world champion. You won the grand final last year. You're having a great year by anyone's standards. You've won many events already. Obviously, Texas having a ridiculous year. How do you feel about that? Because most people are talking about him. It's crazy to say that MS Tassari is kind of going under the radar a little bit, purely because of what Texas is doing. Do you mind that? Do you feel a little bit like, hang on, I'm the world champ still, don't forget about me? Of course, he, he deserves it because he have won three for Champions Cup. I won one, but I think what is, when, when it matters, the world championship, and I'm the whole champion. So if he won the whole six for Champions Cup and I still won the world championship, nobody will know him. Nobody would know. Well, strong words. I mean, it is about the grand final, though, isn't it? That is the one you want to win. We saw some interesting words from Emma Sari last time when I interviewed him. I asked him, I'm trying to spice it up a bit, basically. I'm, I'm not really, I'm, I'm stirring it, aren't I? I asked him what he thought about the fact that everyone talked about Tex because you're obviously doing very, very well, but he's the reigning world champ. And, and I don't know if you heard what he said, but Sari said that um, if you don't win the World Cup final, the E-World Cup final, no, no one will remember you. How do you feel about that? I really mind what Dasari says. I'm by far the best player in the world. I've beat him twice this year. He's beat me once, so I know best. Tex coming up with some stats there from this season. Dasari obviously been strong over the last few years. Is this the sort of legacy you want to create, Tex? Do we want, are we going to see a hungry Tex on FIFA 20? FIFA 21 constantly going, trying to win championship? Yeah, yeah. People, uh, well, in the GOAT conversation, it's me, Granik and Gorilla. And if I, win, and if I win a World Cup, then I'll be by far the best. So I just need to win one World Cup in like 10 years because I'll be playing for a long time. You're saying, to, just to confirm, you're saying Dasari not in the GOAT conversation? What's a granite griddle of me, so... There you go, you heard it from the man himself. All right, so after this game, or excuse me, after these interviews, they played round five in the Swiss format. And uh, they played five one results. After which, after this game happened, the clear deciding winner wasn't close. Even though Tex didn't have a lot of qualifiers, they were surprised and surprised. Tex didn't have a lot of qualifiers, but if he didn't have a lot of qualifiers, no one would have seen him. فلما راح قال لتيكس right. نفس الكلام قال له انه مساعد قال عليك كده قال له خد بالك ان انا لعبت مساعد ثلاث مرات انا كسبت اثنين وهو كسب مره Everyone has Go seen it. it. Look at the Sari is shrugging it off. He's laughing, no big deal. Texas is keeping the game face on. I appreciate. It. I gave him a slight smile. There's a like slight <laughs> smile. So there seems to be some legitimate bad blood between the two. What do you make of it? I think it's great for the scene. Well, I was at well, the 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 end, so I was to December Foot Champions Cup number two, the Xbox console final in which Sari had the laugh laugh there. Barcelona versus Real Madrid. Mayweather versus Pacquiao. Phil Taylor versus Raymond Van Barneveld. Sporting rivalries. MS Desari versus F2 Tex. This is what we were all hoping for. This is what the script had penciled in. And here we go. MS Desari is underway. What is going to be one hell of a matchup here in the Gfinity Arena. If you have just joined us, this is the Xbox console final. The two best Xbox players. And core. Cool. They've got one hell of a history when it comes to competitive. خد بالك إن مساعد هو اللي كسب في الدور المجموعات فهم بيقولوا إن اللي بيكسب في دور المجموعات ما بيكسبش في في الأدوار اللي بعد كده. Oh, حلو حلو. طب أنا إيش؟ التاني جاب جون برضو في الأول وبعدين. We have got so much more to talk about. That is just the opener in four minutes. First blood goes to the Saudi prince, MS Desari. Ronaldo, green times, smash past the goalkeeper, but you're going to see a lot of goals in this game. It's going to flow either way. The pendulum's going to be swinging in the favour of Tex, in the favour of Desari, and an early change from Tex. Marcelo coming off by the looks of it. Virgil van Dijk coming in at left back to try and stop that back post cross. Early meta change from Tex. And the interesting thing as well is that obviously Tex obviously got himself out of Swiss style format, three wins to two. Who are the two players he played against in Swiss Star and lost to? He lost to Rebel Stokes. What was the story in the knockouts just gone there? A win for Tex. And did anybody see that performance? He looked comfortable. He looked very, very comfortable. 
يا جماعة استنوا يا جماعة ما لسه لسه ده احنا لسه بنستفتح He said, Desaria, you can double these points. And he's still looking up at me on those Global Series rankings. This is more than just a game. This is a rivalry that's going to carry through, not just this event, not through just the playoffs, but to the grand final itself. Well, there has been a lot of banter between the two. There's been a few times where you look at Atlanta. And Tex brought the MS Desari X celebration, and obviously MS Desari did it when he won the Champions Cup here in December. On by as a world champion, the other one won the Champions Cup four times. Allah, Allah, how did that happen? Three times this year, looking to make it a fifth. Has to defend this corner first, though. He is currently one nil down. Wow, what a match! This is honestly going to be. I wish I had this still in my hand. I'm the king of the jungle. This is more of a bigger game. This is the console final. The only way that these two can be on completely different sides of the bracket. Everyone was talking about it. Can it happen? Can it happen? Can it happen? It's happened. As soon as that bracket was released, and you saw them on the differing sides, you had it penciled. It was like your birthday. You put a ring around it, and you say, "That's the game. That's the day where it's going to all go down." Desari versus Tex console final. The winner plays Maestro in the cross console final. What a game! What a spectacle! It's much more than a game. This, this is the statement. Because whoever wins this will be three games to two on the other one. You look ahead. What we've got the E Nations coming up there. Yeah, they could match up there. Obviously, MS Desari. He'll be all playing on PlayStation because Royal will need those Global Series ranking points. And to be honest, both players can play on their away console. We've seen it in cross console finals. They've both been part of them. Tex been part of a lot more. You saw. I was just looking on Twitter before this game, Richard. The hype for Tex, especially after what the Elasticos, the Croquetters, the Dragbacks, all the goals, all the skills that were out in that last game for him. You look at what he's done this year. You look at what Mr. Sari's done with this esport, and talking about becoming a superstar. The social following these guys have. How did both of these two players get to this stage? A six-four victory for Texans team Arsenal in the quarters. The Sari seven minutes past in the semi-finals. Tex beating Rebel Stokes and MS Desari beating Battlecat. Both players won their semi-final five goals to two. They've been so even throughout the entire tournament. Whatever you can do, I can do better. That is the phrase that these two are living their FIFA lives by. Spencer was saying down on the desk is well the first real big rival we've been able to see or talk about or even hype up. Lucky enough, it's came at the last but Champions Cup of the year. It's definitely been brewing all the way from Bucharest back in November. Lofted through ball now down the line for Tex. Lovely touch. Oh, the time now, Tex is working on the edge and not on the edge of the mood. Now into the box for Rude Hullet. Going to lack to him. Bad boy and off the ball. Oh, what chance that was for Tex! Warning shots fired from F2 Tex. Just played the ball into Kylian Mbappe. Caressing that ball into the top right corner, it was only the post that stopped this being a level game right now. But you can see Tech starting to grow into this game. He's winning the ball high up the pitch he's with his three cams and his striker. Yeah, Mbappe on the ball so much, especially with the flair side to Mbappe's game that he's got. The likes of Neymar as well, Ronaldo. The list goes. One of his attacking players that he'll be. Using croquetters with elasticos, the list goes on. Well, his entire front four have all got five-star skills: Mbappe, Neymar, R9, and CR7. You know, there's been a lot of chat about who is the goat of FIFA this tournament, and he's still really, you know, we're still waiting to find that goat because competitive FIFA has been driven in, in different ways. We had the FIWCs, which was obviously one big yearly tournament. It's only been in the last two, three years where we've had this. Emergence of the global series, yeah. But we've had more tournaments of players to prove themselves among the bigger pool of players as well. Hell, you just got to think if he can add a world championship at the end of the year for Tex, he's he's gonna be up there. He's one of the best players we've ever seen. The dominance of this year as well. Three foot Champions Cups. 
هو ايه اللي مطلع راموس قدام كده؟ لا 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 Yeah. بلانتي من غير كارت بلانتي من غير كارت لا غريبة حلو بقى المفروض دلوقتي كده 2-0 يعني تكس المفروض يبدا يشتغل في المهارات هل هيشغلها؟ يا عم بلانت بلانت انا مرضي سنتوقع ان المدافع اتزحلق لوحده Atlanta, EPL, the E Lions playoff, 
he's won every tournament that he's competed in. He's played against so many different players as well. They've tested and challenged him. That's an awful heavy touch from Ramos and Mbappe. Oh, he's done so well to get away from his man as well. Mbappe will continue his run for Tex down this left-hand side. We'll cut back in for Neymar. Modric back to Neymar again. Shit. This could be our nine now. Yeah, the we... And he's yeah, offside. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. The disappointment Sight. from Tex had as well. Had, had. Just offside there. The ball squirmed its way under David De Gea in the goal. That's a... Quite a risky goal kick there, but he's got away with it, Desari. He's done quite well in the end. A mixture of Vieira and Van Dijk clearing the danger. But Tex again starting to create a couple of chances. You saw the beautiful work out wide. Just the reaction time. Seems like he's almost half a second ahead. The McGeady spin, the input on the controller. To be able to do that in such a tight area and then get away from his man. It seems like he's just he's playing. يا عم ربنا يستر من العودة الولا هيروح الحمام ويا ترى هيعمل ايه بعد الحمام MS Desai, the huge fan base that he has. His e family, yeah, as well, that have, have traveled all around the world with him. Esports console player of the year. He's transcending. Esports Desai and Tex. They're not just in FIFA esports anymore. They're becoming household names. Currently, MS Desai from Team Rogue is 2 0 up to the back post and headed away by Marcelo. He wasn't challenged. In comes this corner. Bullets there. Oh, Allah. Yeah, Allah. For the hair. You saw that turn around there from Tex. He did them. He did them. Come on, just give me a slice of luck. And if Desari counter attacks from this great defender from Rio Ferdinand, he's still in the team. Prime Rio. You look at the teams and how they've changed, how they've developed all the way from Bucharest. لا ما أعتقدش إنه هو بيأخد حاجة لأن هما بيتعمل لهم كشف من الشوطات زي اللعيبة العادية. Still see those players there, the ones that he trusts, the one that he believes in, such as the Rio Ferdinands. That although there's been team in the years, there's been lots of distractions and opportunities to change your team round, but there's only been a few, and that's the likes of the, the Mbappes. You saw it there, just wanting to take the free kick on the edge of the box. We've seen a lot of free kicks score from this sort of range. R9 played short, so Modric is going to hit it straight away. It's time green, but deflected straight back to him. Scoop turn for Neymar, that's not going to fall kindly to R9, and still. Has not been able to register a real chance in the second half. A good performance from Desari though as well. If you are wondering what the debate is all about, Tex has been so dominant this year. Desari being dominant, you'd say for a number of years, only have a player to win three titles across three different FIFA, three major championships. Well, well, FIFA, 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 FIFA 18 and FIFA 19. Current world champion. And a foot champions cup winner this year as well. In MS Dasari. Won it in December and won this exact matchup. An Xbox console final. Tex against Dasari. Back in December. This is all good for Dasari. 2-0 up. Going into the break. Can he make it 3-0? Gonna fall kindly back to Pelé as well. Just needs to defend this. This Dexy could be three 0 down. What a save! Had to make that save. That bounce went so so bad for him there, inside the box. Needed to make the save at the near post there. It's gonna be whipped into sort of a into the box area. Very interesting. Eccentric corner from Desari, but he is still leading. Two goals to nil. And you could say the halfway point in this series. The Saudi Prince, two goals to the get, two goals to the good, I should say, against F2 Tex. I still feel like we've got so much more to see in this game. It hasn't been yeah. unravelled yet. This is Act One. This is the prelude. This is the, the sort of romantic story in Act Two. That's where people end up getting killed off. That's where people get taken out of the story. Let's have a look at the highlights. I, I'm going to say from Act One in this console final. 
Let's have a look at some of those highlights then of what kicked off this game. MS Dasari breaking the deadlock just four minutes into it. But I said, this is going to be a long old game. It's a long old tie. 14 minutes into it. He looked for the exact same shot, but that was saved and matched by David De Gea. You see the ball just get played out to Mbappe here. First time shot off the post, off the crossbar, bouncing out. Another day that bounces in. And that one found kindly. Again, on the volley, saved by David De Gea. Text came forward in the additional time of two minutes. A number of accelerated fake shots back to goal and just wide there was not time green either. You saw how end-to-end -end this game was, though. A little run over the ball there, played into Rude Hullet. Another save straight into the gut of David De Gea. And this was the chance as well. Went back for a penalty. Rafael Varane was involved there. We saw in the replay, the ball just got away from him. And like the actual arms of Varane caught him. Penalty came in. That was the chance. And that was 2 0 Mr. Sari. If he doesn't make the slide tackle, he probably scores the shot anyway, in all honesty. Bust the Mubara Bell, Tatal Hauda D. Atiba Sukhna, Lane Tix, Heba Mutor, and Hawaii Hagem. Texted have just off. And Shuvel has. Last chance of the game fell to Sari. And yeah, this was the chance of Pele. A drag back into the shot it was time green he did find a way through but also met the hands of david had to parry that out for a corner and then that is literally all she wrote in that game two nil at this moment at the break I think <laughs> on your screen he's thinking to sorry right i'm halfway there i'm two nil up he looks very composed as well he looks calm the sorry in this position <laughs> First leg. Obviously, you're never going to count Tex out. He's such a good player. How many times has he overturned leads? But against Desari, does Desari concede that many goals? That's the question you've got to ask yourself. The first chance of the game that falls to Tex has to be taken. Just to not only give himself that momentum to get back into the day, into the game, but give Desari just the thought of, am I going to throw this away? Am yeah. I, am, am I going to throw this away? That is the thought. He said just plant that seed of doubt in Dasari's mind of could he throw away that 2 0 scoreline? As you can see, this is the Gfinity Arena we are in. We've been here obviously since Friday where we saw Swiss style format on both consoles, knockout football as well. We know that Maestro got the job done on PlayStation and showed that he would guarantee himself a cross console final when obviously 1,500 Global Series ranking points. This game's still undecided, but just looking at the semi finals coming into this, obviously, Tex against Stokes. The first leg was 2-2 two, two there, and Stokes was 2-0 up. Second leg was a 3-0 win uh, in the end for Tex. So he won five goals too. Quite convincing, but mainly because of the first leg. He got the first leg back to a 0-0, and then he could move on into the second leg. Yeah, looking at Desarri's results on the other hand from the second <laughs> <final laughs> <final laughs> round of 16. <laughs> he conceded one goal in the round of 16, scoring nine. In the quarterfinals, he conceded zero goals, scored seven. Against Tass as well, a very, very good player. In the semi-finals against Battlecat, who was on a roll throughout this entire tournament, having beat Ajax Joey, having beat Rafsu, top, top players, he conceded two goals. Yeah. He's conceded three goals in six matches of FIFA. In three series, he's conceded three goals. <laughs> 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 14, 21 goals in total in those three games. <laughs> <laughs> <So, laughs> we really need to explain <laughs> what we're seeing here as we said on the other side of the text. He has had the, quite a few difficult games. Look at that quarterfinal against Team Martial. We know Team Martial took he ran him mega bit. He ran him ragged as well, Team Martial. <laughs> in the second got, leg. Got very tight at one point. Tex pulled away in the end to beat him 6-4. As we keep saying, you can never write off Tex, okay? We have not written him off, trust me on that. We've, we've seen so many comebacks. We've seen the dominating performances that he's had in cross console finals on his away console in tournaments all over the world. Singapore, Atlanta, the list literally just goes on and on and on of how many events he has been to. He even qualified for the E-Champions League on PlayStation 4. Like, it's, I, I always make the joke, any console, anywhere in the world. He Anytime. Will, yeah, he will qualify for events. The story of it from winning Atlanta to flying back to, to Anfield and playing that tournament at Liverpool. On one hour sleep. He still won. Yeah, still won the event. He's uh, He's been a joke this year, in all honesty. You saw the little piece that we ran earlier where we talked about how good he is and what's made him so good. It's hard to put a finger on it. You ask other pros. They just say he's just so consistent in every facet of the game, defensively, offensively. He needs to have a 10 out of 10 performance against Dasari. If he wants to overturn this two goal deficit in the second leg of the console final here yep. on Xbox. 
had a very short break and here we go then the second leg of your xbox console final and mr sari against f2 tech number one of the global series rankings up against number two sticks all about that the fewc winner last year the world champion against the multiple oh no that high me who are I love his good name. I'm sure. That's a massive goal. Just a few minutes in. The first leg saw the Sari score in four minutes. In this leg, we've seen F2 Techs kick off with a bang. He's trying to look as well how that ball's bounced through to him. I think the Sari just didn't clear the ball. Eager to see the replay. Yeah, he tried passing it out there. He tried passing it back. Pull it to his centre half. Techs nipped in front with Neymar. He got another deflection off his centre back then, and found its way through into the net. It doesn't matter how it goes in; it matters that it went in. It hit the back of the net, and in five minutes, he's half this deficit. Perfect start for F2 Tex. He saw the one too there. Hulit Rio Ferdinand. Did he need to play that ball back? Oh, he didn't. No. I don't think he felt confident turning out with Hulit, so he tried playing it back, and then he'd have probably switched it out wide. I was expecting to hook it just straight out, but he didn't even have the time because the pressure was so good from Neymar. Yes, it took a deflection of Van Dijk, still went into the back of the net. We said he needs a good start. We said he needed to score the first goal in Tex, and that goal could have done a lot for him. Fantastic pressing from Neymar there. He's through as well. Add the time. Add the time here for Levy. Cuts back inside. Five kilometers. Add the time. We're back in nil nil, and we have not even played ten minutes. I'm sure. All came from the pressing from Neymar. He's won the ball back on the halfway line, and it just gave him so many different options going forward. The ball goes out wide to Mbappe. He did a lovely bit of work out wide. Lacazette isolating his fullback again. Fell back to Neymar inside the box, and eleven minutes in, we're at two two. Probably the luckiest man on the pitch, Neymar today. The deflections that is taken when the ball comes to the back of the net, and 90 minutes of hard work. El wad dakhal al salam alaikum gab guni. Wiped away in 11 minutes of FIFA time, and Tex. You can see how direct he's playing. As soon as he gets that ball, as soon as he's pressing high up the pitch and winning it back, he's looking to get his cams and his striker in behind. He's not looking to keep hold of the ball and bring players into the game. Just attack, attack, attack. Very similar to Liverpool on the real pitch. You get the ball into your your centre midfielders. You get your runners going forward. Mr. B, I think so. Okay, this has been 11 minutes into it. We've seen two goals already, and you can see every time you just pointed out perfectly, Richard. There's always a run, and there's always someone running on. Cristiano Ronaldo now, back to our nine, our nine with a fake to into the shots. And what a start this has been. Mr. Sarri is in a mountain of pressure right now. He cannot simply get out. You needed that pause, I tell you now. If I have a drink, have a breather, and think right. Yeah, he's, not, he's not even looking to make a change. He just paused it to compose himself. MFC. Put back in. We're going to go to the end of the beginning. But my text is he'll have game the match. That he'll have game the way. The change for F2 text corner comes in. Ronaldo is at the front post. Did not get anything on it. So I must decide make a few mistakes in the back here. Especially playing against a player like Tex, you cannot make any kind of mistake. Just crazy to think that that first leg, all that effort of Desari. The important thing I'm going to do is that he's going to play the game. And he's trying to get Tex to get one thing. 90 minutes of hard defending. Maybe a small slice of luck. Well, that luck's definitely been on Tex's side in the opening two goals we've seen here. Looks for a nice little bit of play there, Desari, but the back heel, just not enough on it. There's the through ball. Could this be a chance to go and find it? Too accelerated fake yeah, to into a shot. Either. And now we're seeing a bit of emotion in this tie. What a turnaround. And we're not even in the first half. Interval in this second leg. And he's already turned it around. He's 3-2 up. Desari looks flustered right now. I think he's in shock. Just like we are. Looks like he's just stepped off the plane. He's gone from Manchester. But even Gabriel, the Texas player, is still there. Gabriel, the sad player, is still missing. Where to go? He's looking for an aircon right now. He's looking for a way out potentially. Three goals to two down, and possibly the worst start 
to a second leg. And once again, you just say, don't write text off. Three, two up now. The tables have turned. Desari has to come out and attack. Can he fire back? Yesavio into Neymar. Talk about the dream start in this second leg for Tex. This is why we play FIFA over two legs. Two completely different games right now. First game, Dasari looked comfortable. Good luck. Are you a no, no, Are you a stopping that bullet. Right finish. Straight into the right hand corner. Really, really good finish from Dasari. Just easing a little bit of pressure off him. Incredible finish. Look at missile into that top corner. No one was stopping that. The power behind it. Time green. Time to perfection and straight into the right hand corner. All square again. And we're still playing a guessing game of who is going to come out on top. We're free free. Wow. We're a third of the way into this second leg. He's won the ball back straight away, but Mbappe just doing enough to win it back for him there. Got to think this game is far from over. The tie in December finished 4 3. Now we're at three apiece. Pretty sure extra time was needed in that it game. It was, as yeah. Well. It was a set piece that won the game for Desari. Texas turn to come forward. A little dink to R9. Parried away by De Gea. Did not know any. I mean, I do not know why he did not collect that. Did the Spaniard. Tough is that, tough. With Neymar, precious steal. Well, look at Ronaldo chasing that back line around the Sari. Very composed. He's got himself a bad situation. Wasn't a bad finish either with Cristiano Ronaldo. Could he get any more in the top corner? <laughs> it were uh, it were a good strike. Ronaldo, the goal scorer of the only goal for the Sari in this game. An interchange of Ramos who. Seems like a normal right back now of choice. Yep, he's still a centre half. That team of the year for item through the legs. Hello, Eusebio turns Hello. back and Hello. Desari Hello. finds himself in front again. Fantastic the exact finish. same kind of finish as well. Fantastic finish from Desari. I thought when the ball rolled into him, it was going to first time shot it. Thought he was going to look for a first time finesse or a first time low driven. But they're just the, the guile to be able to play that pass. Not even looking. It was Mbappe to Eusebio, I think. Just round the corner. Put Eusebio in such a better position. Hammers it home at the near post. And then 99 finishing. 99 shooting. Eusebio is not going to make a mistake from eight yards. You know, he's been in so many more teams now. Since getting that prime on a come moment. And then challenging up against the team of the years. So right at the beginning of the game. The beginning of the game cycle. The first two foot Champions Cup. He was heavily involved. It's the Portuguese man. For FIFA 19, a new icon for this year. Tex now back to goal. La, 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 oh, it la, is. La, la. 43 minutes. Please, someone tell me where this game is going. Capitalizing straight from kickoff. Was F2 Tex. Ball played out. Yeah, wide. Brother, so I in field. R9 with a sort of. Just a jab at the ball. Stabbing it over the goalkeeper. And just before half time, is there any better place to be than settling in for a 4 4 second half between the two best Xbox players in the world? You keep saying rank number one, rank number two on the Global Series rankings. A combined point total of over 15,000 between the two. Obviously, Tex makes up over 10,000 of those. Most of those points coming from all the majors that he's been involved in, all the majors that he's won. Sorry, getting most of his from that Foot Champions Cup back in December. Neymar now, this is Texas' turn to try and go in front. Look at the close control dribbling there from R9 to find a gap in between Vieira and Van Dijk into the halftime interval, in which has been a fantastic half of FIFA here at the Gfinity Arena. There's a round of applause, rings round the Gfinity Arena. People know. The sort of magic that they're watching right now. Between two greats in their prime. MS Desari and F2 Tex. Tied at four apiece with 45 minutes left. 
Oh, I'm asking the question. I, I've no idea where this game is going to go. Is it going to be a mistake? Is it going to be a bit of class that starts building a gap between the two? Because you're looking at, as we keep saying, two of the best players on Xbox right now. And eight goals between the two. Four, four, and aggregate corner to come in now. Front post, flick on off the post. Uba. What a chance. Flicked on at that near post. Warning Them small signs. margins. The smallest of margins that separate the elite players. There's the threaded through to Neymar now. He's going to drive on forward, try and find the way through. Back to Rude Hullet. Where's he going with this one? All the way across into Neymar. That was time green. Hello, Did take a huge deflection of Van Dijk. Could have bounced anywhere that as it were fired goalwards. It's a chance for the side. Just look at that top of the pitch. It looks a little bit Hello, isolated. Van Dijk. If the ball does decide to get spread over there. Marcelo into Hullet. No, I'm sorry. Mbappe can drive. Van Dijk to Mbappe, no. Going to build into this attack and... This game's been played at 110 miles an hour from the get-go. Especially the second leg as well. I said there's a lot more to give in this game. We've seen six goals just in this leg. Four of them coming from Tex, which has given him the chance to pull himself back into this game. Mbappe nearly won the rebound there. Ramos in the air, standout player for me this weekend, Sergio Ramos. Tex not happy with the wicked deflection that took out to Cristiano Ronaldo. And Mr. Sari's turn to come on forward now for a potential chance to go in front, hill to hill. From Mbappe, big foot in there as well from Hullet. Yeah, and Patrick Vieira as well. Right place, right time. That absolute unit in the midfield. Such a presence, Patrick Vieira. Six foot four. Fantastic physical and defending stats. Great pace as well for a CDM. Here's the chance. What's that back post? Cristiano Ronaldo is waiting around there. Edge of the box as well. Neymar is Lata. in there. Cristiano Ronaldo it goes all the way over. Hullet had to hey. come back. Yeah, talk about Hullet doing a defensive job as well. Came out of nowhere. So I'd say rescue that attack. Because Ronaldo, I saw him. It was getting a little bit leapy at the back post there. I think the key thing is, is that they always have the run on the defender. Yep. When that cross comes over, you've seen it from Pele, your savior, Cristiano Ronaldo, R9. They always have the run on their man. And that's why they seem to win that battle in the air every time. The two CDMs in this game have been so, so clinical. Both of them tracking back, getting key interceptions. Look at the run, look at the space. And Bappe's free. He's just delayed it slightly, Vieira. Back to Hullet now, a chance for Tex. I like that, keeping calm. He knew the back post was open, didn't want to rush it and try and force the ball into a hole that wasn't there. Ronaldo to Ronaldo, so used to singing that. Neymar uh -uh. now turns away, saved. Good goalkeeper movement. Read the near post. Green time to finish there. Moved him across and just... Wasn't a, a massive movement. It was an easier movement with the right stick. Just shuffle him across a couple of centimetres. Just in there as well. He's obviously got Ronaldo on fresh R9. He's got full stamina. You see both players, different setups there. This is Tex for the corner. Tried to play into Ronaldo. It's given back to Hullet. It's laid to Mbappe. Oh. What a save! Oh. What a big save from De Gea. No time to rest. Ball straight back into the box. Again. Oh, no. Denied. De Gea just moved backwards there from the Sari. I'm sure the next time that substitutions are made, we'll get that side by side so we can see the different changes that both players are making. This is a chance for the Sari. Look at the run on nine. Didn't want to use it. He's played back to Cristiano Ronaldo inside to Pelé. It's an open goal. And he's Ooh. onside as well. Advantage to MS de Sari. One word. Composure. Right there from MS de Sari. We can see it on the replay again. The ball got played out wide, and it was a counter-attack opportunity. It happened so, so quickly for Desari. Played the ball across, and just slotted past the goalkeeper. You see a couple of changes here coming out from Tex. It's a, looks like a change of formation, and then on Desari's side, into that 4-5-1 to sure things up. 
That's the winning formation for Mr. Sai. When he's in a winning position. I think he did the exact same uh, in the FIWC 2018 final here, Stefano Pina. He was 4 0 up and he still Tick switched the formation home. into a different team. Or triple two for FC. Tick Tick Tick. Look at this. A lot of people shoot there. One more pass took the goalkeeper out of the equation. R9 slots it home. That all comes down to the fact because he's expecting the finesse on the first man and not expecting that extra pass into R9, who was just about onside. And now MS Dasari leads five goals to four with just under 15 in game minutes left. Pause again by Tex. Maybe he didn't finalize the changes he wants to make. the way he wants to go. Out to Mbappe, R9 oh, just can't get round his man. Ronaldo can get a shot away. And Dasari just asking more from his players. Why is no one blocking that? Why is no one trying to make the interception? That's nice. That is really nice from Dasari. Hey, 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 goalkeeper to striker in Lift. three passes. And then Mbappe to hull it. To Pele back Shoot. to Pele again to score and to deliver. Hey, you are he calls himself the king of the jungle and he could be the king of the Xbox here in London. Could that be enough to send him through to a cross console final? Really, really nice bit of play there from the Sarri. You can go all the way back to when he played it out from the goalkeeper. I think it was four passes. The ball went in behind to Mbappe. He then reworked it back into the middle of the pitch. Smashes it past the goalkeeper. You can see on the screen there with 10 minutes left, we tied at four apiece. The two goal cushion that the Sarri Hello. took Italy's second leg is now being the vital asset. It's six on the right hand side. Back. You can see the change well, the well, well, the well, the well, the well, the problem is he's got Ramos on the field still. And Ramos can play as a centre mid. You can see though he wants to make an extra change, but he's clearly out of substitutes. Was Tex, and you think back to obviously he makes the early change every single time of Van Dyke coming on for Marcelo. Does that mean an overload of centre backs? There's the chance again. It was finished by Pele, and you pointed out perfectly, Richard, a lovely build up play from the goalkeeper to Mbappe and about three passes. And this arena has been quite special to Tex, especially in the last few weeks with the EPL finals. We saw what Calvin Lewitt did at the back post in a huge game for him. Is there any magic lurking in the air with nine minutes left for Tex? Ball across the box, punched away by David De Gea. Musa, team and the club. He's a big game player right now, does Tex. You see how high he's pressing up the pitch. Ronaldo. La 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 a big Seen chance. Saves. Eight saves from David De Gea. The so. Desari has had to rely on his goalkeeper for. He scores one more. This would be over. Time ticking down. Time running out. Desari. This could be it. Yalla. This could be it. Yeah. 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 That's a free kick. He's going to have an opportunity to maybe throw it into the box, maybe play short. 87 minutes on the clock. Time's running out. Time is not a friend of F2 Tex at this moment in time. 87 minutes on the clock. He's got probably one option to hoof this into the box. Tex is not a friend of Ronaldo. Or hull it running onto it. It's gone long into Ronaldo. It's an L1. So he's done a, a very. هدي اللعبة مساعدة هدي خالص خالص هدي على قد ما تقدر أيوة لا أيوة ماشي هدي اللعبة هدي اللعبة أيوة أيوة اجري اجري معاك اهو تحت أيوة حلو خالص يا عم من الناحية التانية يا عم من الناحية التانية جيجي Besides seven down, Tex might have six thousand more global series ranking points for him, but it's going to be Mr. Sari playing top quality FIFA again in London. Another cross console final, another opportunity to win a major. 
بس هو كده كده تكسا يا دوبك لان لو جاب هيجيب جون احسن مش عارف يجيب اكتر من كده جي 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 شوش <تصفيق> 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 